we go on around the whole map in Derail Valley. How beautiful and majestic. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? Everything is just going A-OK -okay right now. Maybe I'm a little bit crazy trying to take this little shunter around the entire map. I probably should have taken a locomotive. Oh, I don't know. That has a little bit more range on it. <laughs> Rain or hail ain't gonna stop us now. But in saying that, I'm just gonna close up the hatch because I'm getting a little bit wet. Oh, we're gunning it up this hill right now. Can we make it? Can we make it? Up the hill we go in the rain. Full throttle. Got the throttle pegged. She's got oh, more captain. Yeah, the cuckoo's laughing at us right now because we've just managed to stall it. <laughs> oh, no. The train's not happy, it's going backwards. No more forward motion anymore. Oh, the violins have decided we're going the other way. It's only a baby steam shunter, it's not a mainline locomotive, but I stopped treating it like a mainline locomotive. No, nope, I'm not gonna have this. No, nope, we're going the other way. Right! This is how we do it. I don't care, I'm gonna move this thing. Come heck or high water. Four words, four words, four words, four words. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. We're going forwards. And look at that. We've been basically driving for 24 hours right now because it's 10 to 12. So next we'll be going south to machine factory in town. Yeah, the violins of death. You know what that means. The end of the world. Oh, the handbrake's still on. Let's see how much water's left in our tank. Ooh, let's get the old flashlight out first. Well, there's rain falling into the water tank. Is that going to fill up the water? Precious, precious water is what we need for these steam engines. Without it, there'll be a huge explosion. Once again, I'm attacking the old coal bunker. Sorry, coal bunker. We need to keep this fire going. It's sparking out of the chimney. Yeah, we've got some fireworks right there. Some fireworks coming out of this old engine. Oh, what am I doing to this thing? Uh, we're really pushing it hard now. Oh, we just went around that curve. The speedo more or less pecked. Oh, we pecked it and we're rolling into the station. Oh, no! Look out, everybody. Look out! Um, actually, I might see if I can get a little bit of sleep because I am tired. There's a stove with coffee. I don't want a stove with coffee. I just want to go to sleep. I've been driving for 20 hours in the game. Let's get out of here. Let's, uh, well, we can't forget the train, of course, because uh, we, we can't leave them passengers behind. Oh, no. We're out of water. There's no more water in the tanks. If we don't take action very shortly, we are going to blow up. Oh, it's going to be a race against time here. And how we continue, I have no idea. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Well, I'm doing this, and I'm probably crazy for doing this, but I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to drive the entire map in Derail Valley today using the recently released 060 or S060 shunting steam locomotive. So today we're going to be driving the entire map. Yes, that's correct, the entire map. We are here right now at Iron Ore Mine East, so if I bring up the map, it's at the very, very top, far right-hand top corner of the map. That's where we are. If you look at uh, that map area, you'll see a little blue triangle there just superimposed over the yellow dot. Maybe, maybe you won't see it. But anyway, uh, we'll have a look in more detail in just a second. And this is our lovely S060 uh, shunting locomotive. It's not, main, not made for mainline duties, but uh, we'll be using it for the mainline today, all right, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, enough of that for now. Um, okay, so yes, we are here at Iron Ore Mine East, and I'm just firing up this locomotive, and I'll show you everyone what I'll be hauling today. Basically, these passenger vehicles, and I've got four here today, and each of them weighs a little bit. Uh, how much do they weigh? Around 33 ton? So yes, 130 ton, 130 odd ton in total here for these four carriages. Not exactly a huge amount of weight, but as you may imagine, the map of Derail Valley has lots of inclines and declines and all sorts of undulations and curves and everything. So hauling four wagons like this is going to be a little bit of a challenge, I think, especially given that we are going to try and do this without running out of steam, or I should say water. 
or coal and water being the main keyword here because you run out of water with this thing it will explode it's going to blow up okay it's happened before not to me thankfully yet but others have experienced it okay if you watch other youtube channels i don't know why you would just kidding <laughs> anyway let's have a look at the uh, route we'll be taking today and in this video so we're starting here at iron ore mine east we're going to be making our way down this way like this unfortunately we have to go around this loop here before we can continue west and then our first stop will be food factory okay so food factory we should be able to hopefully make it there and basically get a little bit of water there's no coal there i believe but that's fine we should have enough coal to keep going continue west over to iron ore mine west now there's a full coal and watering station there we'll definitely need to refill and then down to machine factory in town probably just pass through there continue down to city southwest where there's water as well and then down to sawmill where there's a whole coaling station and then obviously heading east all the way down the bottom of the map all the way across to harbor and town harbor and town um after that we'll be heading back north all the way back up to where we are now okay so that's a rather really quick overview of the route we'll be taking today and i know it looks quick but believe me if you've had a look at the duration of this video yeah i know <laughs> uh don't do anything in half measures here so anyway in game time it's uh just past 12 midday so i'm starting a little bit late in game i probably should have started this in the beginning of the day but in any case we're here now, it's lunchtime in the game, and we've got a full load of uh, water and got a full load of coal as well. Just starting up the uh, air pump and the uh, generator. And just to show everyone the lubricator oil levels there, you can see it's just shy of the top there, so pretty much like 95% full of oil there on the lubricator. And we'll go ahead and just turn this lubricator on, make sure it's on because we don't want to run this thing dry of oil and uh, yeah, if the cylinders don't have oil in them, it's not a good day. I'll be checking the lubricator at regular intervals as well. Okay, so let's get ready and reverse out. Uh, hang on, make sure our handbrake's off. We'll hook up to our car's whistle. Just to let everyone know, in case you're wearing headphones. I'm going to be blowing the whistle a lot in this video, just by the way. <laughs> Okay, so just reversing up to the passenger wagons here and it's a beautiful day to begin in the game, isn't it? It's nice and sunny. Birds are singing. And here our coal filling console just beeping away there telling us, yes, you can add coal if you want. But we are all topped up here today. Ooh, that was a bit of a stretch there. Just connect up the cars. The coupling and the air hose for the brakes so now we'll go ahead and just make sure all of the handbrakes are off and once we do that we'll be good to go so i'm going to be stopping at regular intervals at most of the stations there just to make sure i've got enough water and coal water being the key word here because you don't want to run out of water as as always with these steam engines um, so they've added quite a few water towers across the map in the latest update for this game build 95 which is what i'm playing here so there's a sufficient amount of water towers around the map as long as you uh think to stop and actually put in water that is because if you don't eh, you might be in trouble okay so let's go ahead and move out of here We'll add a little bit of coal to the firebox as well. And so yes, I do recommend that you sit back and get comfortable because this is going to be one heck of an adventure, that's for sure. Just trying to put the map down here and trying to get all settled in. What I might do is I'm just going to, um, hang on, I'll put the lantern down here as well because believe it or not, it's going to get dark soon and we're not always going to have a beautiful sunny day here. Go ahead and put the pocket watch down there just to keep tabs on the time. So it's just after lunchtime now in the game. Just 
close up the cylinder drains there and let's just inch back on the reverser a bit to save a bit of coal got some nice grey smoke coming out the chimney so that's good always want to keep tabs on your smoke colour just make sure that you're not burning too inefficiently and just making sure that we set the route here correctly on the way out of here as well I did actually do two shunting jobs off camera just to raise the old funds and the old wallet here so I've got about $37,000 which should be more than enough to take us around this map and fill us up with water and coal as required so yeah looks like we've got a straight shot out of here which is good so yes there we go 37 grand in the old wallet so good to go from a monetary perspective and I might actually just I might just put this wallet uh, right there I guess hopefully it doesn't fall off these objects do have gravity physics applied to them and movement physics so they will fall off if uh, you don't place them correctly just inch back on the reverse a bit more ah oh, yes okay coal let's go ahead and add a bit more coal now I'm gonna be very economical on the coal in this run at least for the first first probably quarter of the map you'll notice that I'm gonna run the damper very low so you might get a little bit annoyed if I stalled the train once or twice because I don't have enough steam pressure so apologies for that I'm just trying to be very economical with the coal alright I don't want to do what I've seen a lot of other people do in other videos which is just load the firebox full of coal and then just sit on the uh, steam relief valve the entire way and basically just throw all the coal and water out the window okay that's not what I'm interested in doing so we are basically here top right as I mentioned before we're going to come down and just going to make sure that we uh, head in a westerly direction so yeah it's already just past one o'clock in the game so time's passing time to go just got the bell on there whilst we're going through the station limits here through the station I should say turn the bell off shortly don't worry so yes, running very economically. I want to keep the steam pressure below 12 bar for the most part on the boiler. Probably more around 9 bar or so would be the ideal, I guess, boiler pressure. You have to remember this is a shunting locomotive. This is not a mainline locomotive. So the fact that we're going around the entire map here and just trying to make our fuel supplies last, that takes a big... Uh, toll if you don't run efficiently you'll find yourself running out of coal or even worse running out of water so have to be very careful on what you do you can't just go ahead and go nuts with the energy usage here obviously if there's a hill or a gradient whatever then uh, we need the coal and we need the steam pressure we will build it up or I will build it up but apart from that we try and run conservatively until I get a bit of a feel for just how much this thing consumes. There's a bit of a hill coming out of here, but this hill shouldn't last too long. Just get on the water here, because I know that it's going to dip down into a bit of a downhill shortly. I want to make sure we've got enough water to cover the firebox. Now during this run as well, I will try and just explain what I'm doing along the way with regards to the damper setting and things like that. You can see there that the smoke is still mostly grey. It's got a little bit of a black tinge to it, so probably could use a bit more draft. The locomotive is working hard though, so there should be a bit of draft going through the chimney. One of the most efficient ways to operate this locomotive, or most steam locomotives, just not all of them, is to have the regulator fully open and just control the amount of steam generation with the damper and also the reverser. Um, and the amount of power, I should say, with the reverser. So, obviously it's not always possible to keep the regulator fully open. Like I've just had to close it there because it's running downhill. So, it's just a case of what the conditions call for and now we're going down a hill so just gonna have to get on the brake here just keep our speed in check 
Now I've got my trusty comms radio out and I'll be using that to change the points along the way obviously. I believe according to my investigations here that this section of track that we are going through is going to be a lot of downhill coming up. So not much accelerating to do and that's why I'm not going crazy with the fire right now. You'll see the boiler pressure is quite low and the coal is really almost non-existent there. Just trying to save the amount of coal that we're using. Keep the fire temperature low and hopefully use less water as well. Now I'm going to try and uh, save my voice during this video as well because we've got a lot of running ahead of us so I don't want to lose my voice. You might find that there's long sections of silence and it's either because I'm busy or I'm a little bit miffed because things haven't gone right or I'm tired or who knows how things will go during this run so we have at least a few in-game days ahead of us so now I will aim to get some sleep in-game at a few points along the way as well because it's probably going to take around three days or so to reach to do an entire loop of the map so and it's worth noting as well that I'm not actually touching the interior of the map there's a few routes on the inside of the map that I'm not going to be visiting. I'm just going around and doing, I'm doing a loop around the outside of the map for now. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> so yes, the coal is very low right now. But more interested in just the amount of speed we're picking up here. I think we're going a little bit too fast for comfort. So just putting on a little bit of brake here. Sometimes I don't exactly follow the speed limit signs and I'm not as liberal as the speed limits you might say so if it says 60 I might just chop along at 40 because you just don't know sometimes the speed limits change quite abruptly as well they've done a pretty good job overall with the speed limit signs on the map but nonetheless this is an old little shunting steam locomotive so it's not something that uh, you want to take any risks with especially travelling at speed just trying to return that brake handle back to running position as well at the end of every application and release now I've got the junction coming up shortly and we'll be heading through that trying to make sure we keep our braking in check here we don't, I still feel like we're going too fast oh no the junction the junction no <laughs> uh, okay we've just gone the wrong way excellent that's just what we want to do that's just what we want to do great start isn't it <laughs> okay let's uh Let's stop this train. There's no other way around it. We'll just have to back up. So we'll stick the reverser in reverse and we'll get this thing moving backwards. I need a little bit of uh, coal here as well before our fire dies away. Oops, and we're moving already. The train wants to go forward. No, we're not going forward, we're going backwards. So open the drains. Stop! Stop! Need more braking power. There goes the compressor or the air pump. And trying to move this thing backwards up a hill is going to be interesting. Give me a little bit more power here got the throttle open almost fully now. Good thing we've got a little bit of steam pressure at least. We haven't killed the fire that much. Ah, okay. Okay, so just backing up here, just passing back through these set of points, the points that I should have set correctly the first time around. These kind of mistakes take time as well, so apologies for that. I'm going to try and speed through some of this stuff. And if there's kind of dead scenes and stuff like that where it doesn't seem like much is happening. Oh, uh, now she wants to go forwards. Back down the hill. 
then I'll probably just do a little bit of a cut in the uh, in the old film there just to kind of speed things up a little bit because uh, this is gonna be quite a long journey as it is all right back we go I'm not gonna go full forward on the reverse so just uh, one or two clicks forward and just let the momentum take us forward why not Yep, you can see there on the sign, 50k an hour, and that's a downgrade, that's like minus one point something there. And there we are on the map, we are making a little bit of progress so far, we're 17 minutes or so into this journey. And yeah, we've got that loop-de-loop -loop coming up, but I believe it's going to be all downhill, there's going to be a little bit of uphill when it comes to approaching Food Factory, I believe, but nothing too crazy. I believe uh, once we leave Food Factory, whether that's the next day or later on tonight uh, in the game, there's going to be quite some uphill uh, grades there to, to climb. So yeah, just going to go real easy on the old throttle there and keep the fire real low because we don't need to burn excess coal or use up excess water. One thing with this locomotive is it does seem to use the water first before the coal, which is quite dangerous, I've found. Normally you'd want the coal to run out first with these things. And speaking of water, I just need to uh, top it up a little bit because when you go downhill, all the water goes to the front of the boiler and that kind of results in a lower sight glass reading. And you don't want to get it so low that there's nothing in the sight glass when you're going downhill because that's quite dangerous. It could blow up, it could explode, that's for sure. And that's not what we're about here on this channel. I like to do things properly. Okay, so getting on the brake a little bit just to temper the speed down. Keeping tabs on the speed there, 50, just under 50. Okay, that's fine. I think we've got heaps of water now. Because we are going downhill. So once we go back level, that side glass is going to increase anyway. Whoop. There goes our speed once again. I'm just applying it up to about 2 on the uh, brake gauge there. And then uh, putting it into running mode. Don't want to apply the brakes any more than about 2 on the pressure gauge. Nice, easy run, just coasting away. Maybe put some music on in the background if you're watching, because uh, it's going to be a nice long run, that's for sure. Back on the brakes. Oh, put the brakes on real hard then. Here comes the tunnel. Whistle. Close up these doors from the old MSTS days. Keep the speed in check. Keep the speed in check. This thing will peck the speedo really easy if you're not careful. Looks like the weather's kind of changing now. The sun's starting to go away. I didn't check the weather forecast at our starting location. I just realized I should have done that. Oh well. Okay, so we are coming up to begin that loop-de-loop -loop section now. And again, it's still more of a downhill. And the speed limit's down to 40 here, so we are basically on 40. So let's increase the brake up to about 2. The tunnel. Speeding check. Uh, our smoke's gone a bit dark there. Uh, it kind of is grey, I think. Just suckling the brakes on and off here. Probably not the best idea. I think that's where we need to be, maybe. I 
a hell of a drop there anyway. Yes, that is where we need to be. That's where we will be coming. We'll be on those tracks that we just saw in just a moment once we complete this loop. So off to the left, there it is. You can see Food Factory right there. That's our first stop in our long, long destination. We've got quite a few stops on this trip. That's going to be our first one. And they should have some water there for us to uh, refill our boiler. Because I'm sure that the tanks are going to be running a little bit lower by the time we get there. Even though we're not pushing this thing very hard right now. Just have to see what the water level's like. Actually, let me just. Uh, where's the. Oh, I should have turned on these cap lights before. Yeah, okay, water's fine. We'll just see the top of the water there on the side glass. You can hear our uh, generator just whirring away there, the dynamo in the background. Seems to be slowing down now. Let's open these drain valves, give it a little bit of power. I don't think we need to open the drain valves when resuming power as long as you're moving. But if you're standing still, that's when the condensate builds up, I've read. I've got a bit of an old habit when operating these steam locos that I'll just open the drain valves even whilst in motion when resuming power from zero. Probably don't need to do that though. Rain has really kicked up now. You can see the rain beating against the uh, the windows there. And it feels like, or it sounds like, we're increasing in speed again, so... Yeah. Look at that scenery. I haven't been around this section of the Derail Valley map in quite a while. But we are basically heading around this loop right now. And we're going to be uh, bearing off to the right hand side again in just a moment. As we continue the very early stages of our lovely map loop. It's going to be one big adventure, that's for sure. And it's only just beginning. And here comes the rain already. One thing to be mindful of as well is when you're braking. Oh, I just locked up the wheels. Yep. Yeah. Just as I was going to say it, because the rails are wet and the wheels are wet, although that wasn't a tunnel, mind you, <laughs> but uh, yeah, normally the tracks are rather dry in a tunnel unless lots of trains have been through, but yeah, you can lock up the wheels, the wheels were still wet, I guess, so you have to be careful of that. You might say that running downhill like this is actually even more precarious than running uphill in heavy rain. So that's one thing to just be mindful of, is that your wheels will slip. Okay, it speeds down to a more manageable, almost 20 kilometers an hour now, coming down from 30. through the loop and we'll be heading back to point west in a moment just taking it nice and slow through this weather some may say I'm going a little bit too slow but sometimes it's better to be safe than sorry actually in saying that I might have to put the power on <laughs> Okay, let's put the power on because uh, steam pressure is dropping as well. Oh no, no, no. I think we're coming up to a hill. How did I miss this? Oh no, the fire, the fire, the fire. Uh, let things get away from me, I'm sorry. This is not the way to fire the locomotive. 
Yeah, okay, we're gonna stall, I think. Let's get this damper right up. And let's get the blower open. I don't want to stall. I don't want to stall, but... We'll see what the train has in store for us. Let's move that to running. I think we might have to stop here. Ah, a little bit of a sneaky hill there. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting a nice run into Food Factory. That's what happens when you don't run these particular routes very often. Like I said, I haven't been in this part of the Derail Valley map for a little while now. Ah, we're picking up speed again, so I think we're rescuing our boiler pressure. Just to open the damper right up to try and improve our boiler pressure there, and it is rising, even though we've got full throttle at the same time. Bless the little locomotive. We probably could have kept going there, but yeah, look at the steam pressure just shoot upwards now. Probably could have kept her going, to be honest with you. Because it was, uh, it was making progress. What am I doing? Anyway, that's fine. Woohoo! Wheel spin. Wheel spin. Just trying to get going in this rain. And away we go. What a nice, versatile little locomotive this 060 is. Because the boiler is uh, a little bit smaller than the SH-282, it does recover steam pressure quite fast as well, which is good. So we'll just try and keep the boiler pressure there around the 9 bar mark. What's going on there with our water? Oh boy! We've got no water! Oh no! Oh no! There's no water! Oh, fuel, okay. It was actually just just at the bottom of the side glass there. It's not the end of the world if it just reaches the bottom of the side glass. You've got a little bit of leeway there, but if you haven't seen water in the side glass and you've been pumping water for a good minute or two, you know that it's really low. And if you let it get that low, you might be very, very dangerously close to causing big problems. So always keep water showing in the side glass and try and keep the speed in check. Whoops, just lock the wheels up again. Very easy to do it seems. Going through another tunnel here. There's a junction coming up, but I believe we are very close to Food Factory now. So let's keep the dampers high because our steam pressure is very low right now. And <laughs> uh, okay, yep. I know I'm doing my best here to save some coal, people. <laughs> As you can see, I'm trying to run this thing very economically. Because not every station has coal service. We can see here that uh, there's no coal service. So there's no black dot. We'll go a little bit faster around here. On the map for Food Factory, which means there's no coal service there. But generally you will have a water tower at most locations, if not all of them. So it's a good thing they put more water towers, like I said, with this build 95 update recently, because that's really helped us along with this. It's almost like they realized just how much water this thing actually needs. But yeah, it'll be apparent once we stop at Food Factory just how much water we've consumed. And yeah, we're not out of the woods just yet. Let's get this fire up because I believe we've got a hill. Coming up. So let's close up our doors. Just trying to. Um, what am I trying to? Trying to empty this shovel. I just want to bring our boiler pressure up a little bit. I 
think we can get off the brakes here because we're not at risk of running away, I don't believe. Uh, what's going on with the boiler? Come on, I've got the damper up fully. I've got the blower on as well. still on downhill section but we're just past the 30k an hour zone so we're pretty much right on 30 right now yeah those wipers just scraping away because it, suddenly the, the windows are dry in the tunnel which is very realistic Making progress, making progress. Food factory is almost here. I can see it more or less. I can smell it. I'm sure I'll be able to smell it if it's a food factory. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little bit crazy trying to take this little shunter around the entire map. I probably should have taken a locomotive. Oh, I don't know. That has a little bit more range on it. <laughs> I just love this little shunter though. I thought, what a cute way to go around the map. Let's attach a few little cars to the back. It's like we're doing a little uh, passion the passenger drop off. Argue we're doing a bit of a pickup as well because we're going around the entire map, taking people from Iron Ore Mine East, dropping them off at Food Factory, maybe picking them up again, or leaving them there, getting new sets of passengers. I'd really love for them to do a passenger job. Uh, well, have the ability, to, you know, to do passenger jobs in this game. That would be pretty cool as well. I think just the fact that they got these passenger cars in there shows that they must have been thinking about that at some point. Rain is still relentless here. The weather has really set in. Boiler pressure is looking a lot more healthy at least. Water level is fine. Make sure the uh, injectors are off there. Don't need to be pumping any water right now. And that reason is because we are hitting downhill and there's still a high sight glass reading there. So we know that there's heaps of water. And I really haven't done any planning here coming into food factory so I'm not sure where I am or where I need to be kind of thing. It's been a while like I said since I've run this particular area of the map. So I'm not really familiar with this approach into food factory. Oh, there it is, there it is, okay. Yeah, that came into view rather fast. And we are heading off to the left. Do we need to go to the left? Um, okay, this is where we need to do just a little bit of, uh, yes, research and just see where we're at. What I want to do is, oh, do I stop at the, uh, I want to stop at the platform and just allow the passengers to have a bit of a mosey around, get some food maybe, have dinner, uh, simulated dinner, and maybe fill up the tanks with water because I'm sure they're going to be low. So let me just uh, sort that out right now real quick. I 
I'm just heading through Food Factory here and what I want to do is just check the level of the water. Just trying not to hit any other rolling stock here at the moment as well. What I want to do is just come around and reverse the train into the station and basically fill up with water at the same time whilst we're doing that. So we'll continue on forward and then I'll just have to back into the station I believe. Now to check the water level I find easiest to get out from the roof, open the roof hatch and jump up to the roof. You can check the coal. As you can see there the coal is only probably about 60% full still, if not more, probably more like 65, 70%. Let's take a look at the water levels. Mm, the water level is always a bit difficult to check, but that looks to me like they're about, it's about halfway down on the water level. So definitely recommend filling up the water, I think, before we continue on here, because like I said, water is king. So, so we'll continue on forward through Food Factory anyway, and once we reach the end, should be able to just back up and uh, into the platform. I'm not quite sure why I actually chose to come this way. I probably could have just kept going straight instead of changing that set of points just now. But anyway, uh, same outcome, I guess. We'll uh, catch up with you shortly. Okay, so I've gone right to the end of Food Factory, had to go through the tunnel at the end of Food Factory in town and then flip the points over and just <laughs> reverse back. So there is a water tower and a set a uh, platform station which we're basically just chugging at pretty uh, good rate in reverse right now towards and it's slightly dangerous I must say, but anyway, should be fine. Just put a little bit more water in and we'll hit the brakes shortly. Unfortunately, we won't be stopping the carriages at the platform because we'll, the water tower is just before the platform, so the carriages have to be before the platform as well. You'll see. See, there's the uh, water tower coming up there. And this will be our first destination, our first stop that we've successfully reached so far without causing any undue damage, apart from the brakes, core brakes. I think I've gone a little bit too far there. Just uh, keep the water running here a little bit. <sighs> and do the needful with the old water tower. So if you watched my other video, just uh, before, card up above, I did a video on how to refill and service this thing. And the way you basically do it is, I like to get the alignment of the water nozzle correct from the front and rear view first, if that makes sense. So what would you say, longitudinal alignment first, and then transverse alignment second, okay? So move the train into position, forward and backwards uh, at the end, but get the longitudinal kind of alignment of the water nozzle first. I'm gonna try to do this Okay, I think that's in line now, longitudinally. So uh, we just need to move, uh, so yes, now we just need to move the locomotive. Uh, in this case, we need to go backwards a little bit just so that we can line up the water hatch underneath the nozzle. But yes, for those of you who don't quite know how to do this just yet, hopefully this will be a little bit of a tutorial. No vehicle, should get a bing shortly. There we go, misaligned is the first status. And then once we continue moving, once we're at that sweet spot, we should get a beep sound. You can see that there, we're, we're still quite, quite far away from the alignment, transverse alignment. So we'll keep moving backwards. And then once the nozzle ends up right over the hatch of the water, of the boiler, of the water hatch filler thing, <laughs> should get a, a beep. See that? See how it's aligned top and bottom? Yeah, there it is. There's the beep. 
quickly put the brakes on and see how we're moving very very slowly in order to align this thing so that's basically how you do it uh, that probably wasn't the best demonstration of how to do it so apologies for that obviously you can check out my servicing video for more but yeah the water tanks were down to like a third full you can see there uh, more or less just from that run which we didn't really uh, use too much water I thought and I don't have my wallet with me to pay for the water <laughs> uh, wallet's in the uh, locomotive so let's go ahead and pay that is two hundred and sixty six dollars and forty five cents for those of you playing at home and just I'm not going to bother with the receipt there sorry for the littering but I didn't touch that the machine did <laughs> uh, that's terrible okay the water is full even though it doesn't look very full it looks empty when the tanks are full but uh, there you go it's full I've got that uh, confidence I think now from the perspective of coal we don't actually have a coal filling station here at uh, food factory but it looks like we've got uh, we've got a reasonable amount left still so we'll get going I think not gonna spend any more time here initially I thought we'd probably spend the night here and then leave in the morning but just given the fact that I'm rather excited right now I think it's best that we just keep going and get this show on the road so what I'm going to do is just basically uh, get this train out of the station so we'll get moving in just a second let me just keep this fire going whilst we wait for the passengers to board and then we'll get moving all right time to go folks not going to hang around any longer it's getting late enough as it is we're going to keep going through the night here and because we had a little bit of a late start I'm going to try and get back some of that time tonight just adjusting our damper here to try and keep our our boiler pressure in check because it's it's actually quite high now So everything is looking like it's in check. Just give it a little bit more water there. And we'll leave Food Factory. And we'll begin the next leg of our journey. Hope I haven't left anyone behind. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and see how we're going here. We've got a level crossing coming up, so we'll go get on the bell. So it's probably good that we're moving now, get a nice early morning start. So we are in day two basically, this is the day two leg, I guess you could say. Into the tunnel we go. Let's turn off that bell. Fire's looking a little bit dead actually. Let's go ahead and uh, sort that out. So just coming out the tunnel now, the other end, as we leave uh, Food Factory. Had the throttle on full there, probably don't need it up so high. Just have a quick look at the map here and see that we have made a little bit of progress as we've left Food Factory. But, oh, well, hang on a sec, hang on, hang on, hang on, oh, 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 what's going on, what's going on, got a bit of a hill here. Oops, didn't time this one well, uh, got off the throttle there, probably a little bit prematurely, and now we're really working the, working the old boiler hard. Oh, fire's dying again. Okay. My economical running is kind of working against me right now, it seems. When you've got sparks flying out of the chimney, that's when you know that you're really pushing this thing hard. Don't stall, don't stall, we got it. That's one heck of a hill coming out of that tunnel. That was completely unexpected. So if you're doing this run, just be careful. In this particular position where we are right now, leaving Food Factory, there is one heck of a hill! Oh, we just made it. Uh, 
Oh man, the hill is not giving up. I've got the reverser in full forward. This thing is sparking out of the chimney. Yeah, we've got some fireworks right there. Some fireworks coming out of this old engine. Oh, what am I doing to this thing? Uh, we're really pushing it hard now. But the good news is we're making progress. So at least we didn't stall there. That could have turned out quite a lot worse. Back to running position on the brake there. Always try and remember that. I think, well, I believe that uses less steam, but it's doubtful that that's the case in this game. Not too sure. I'm going to keep the damper just raised up a little bit more here because, I don't know, I'm getting a little bit antsy with all this economical running. It seems like, to me, I've not uh, kept the pressure up high enough. Okay, just going to keep heading west here. There's a bit of a junction coming up, going to bear right and then head up all the way to the top part of the map and then we should reach the uh, iron mine west, basically, or iron ore mine west. And I think it'll be well and truly daylight by that stage. So we didn't really get any sleep, unfortunately, in this night. But I'm going to see if maybe I can get a few hours of kip once we reach the iron ore mine west, potentially. And just have a little bit of a rest here. So I feel like we've let the passengers get a bit of a food and snack break just earlier at food factory, but we didn't really get to have our break uh, have a break ourselves, so it's not very fair on the driver, is it? Uh, I've got the throttle open again. Thing is, when you pump water, you lose boiler pressure as well. I should have known. This is a, a very heavy graded section, I believe, leaving food factory. Uh, I need more coal, need more coal, get the coal in. I'm really trying to save the coal because I know that we are running a little bit low. Ish. Like I said, it's probably around the halfway mark when we were at Food Factory and we didn't get to refill our coal there because there's no coaling station, so we could only top up the water. Just trying to run economically right here, just cutting through the darkness. Look at the way there's smoke and it looks like there's a bit of fog maybe. It's just settling down over the passenger cars there. Looks awesome. Okay, back to the matters at hand. Seems like we're slowing down again, so let's get this damper right up. Let's get this fire going because boiler pressure is dropping once again. The fire's a bit low. Fire is too low. I'm trying to run this thing economically right now. A part of me reckons maybe I should have the damper up higher. Just open the regulator fully, which it already is now anyway. And that way you get more of a draft through, you can build up more pressure. And if you want to slow down, just back off the reverser instead. But part of me also thinks that doing that, you use more coal because you've constantly got a higher rate of burn on the fire. And because you've got higher temperatures, so I don't think that's the solution here either. So that's why I've been running with the damper in a lower sort of position. And just making do with the boiler pressure that we do have. Because, like I said, I'm I'm really trying to just save our coal supplies here. We're going up more of a hill now, though, that's for sure. Just past the speed sign with a gradient marker on there. I think that was plus 1.2 or something. But we are picking up speed from the sounds of things. Notice how I hardly look at the speedometer. <laughs> well, I do when it comes to uh, obeying the speed limits. But you can just tell from the acceleration, in, you can tell the acceleration deceleration just by listening to the uh, bark of the pistons. Uh, we're making a little bit of progress, but we are still slowing down. We're still going up this grade. Uh, boiler pressure is up, ish. Just shy of nine bar there on the boiler pressure. Let's, uh, yeah, let's add more fire. Let's add more fire. We're gonna have to use this coal, unfortunately. There's no two ways about it. You can see there the chest pressure. It's up there. The locomotive's working hard. It looks 
like I've got more of a great coming up still. Uh, running a little bit lowish on the water. If we're going up a grade and it's at halfway ish, don't want the uh, sight glass level to drop any more than that. Looks like we're just going to cruise here at 10k an hour for the moment, folks. Like I said in the beginning of this uh, trip, there's a 1.5% uh, grade, by the way, that we're coming up upon. This is not meant to be a speed run or anything like that. This is more just about economical running. I know I didn't mention this won't be a speed run, but I did mention that I'm going to try and run this thing economically. So just need to bear that in mind. At the end of the day, we've got a long way to go and we don't want to run out of fuel, as in coal or water along the way. I'm trying to run to get the maximum amount of range. And some of you may say that I've got too much load on the back, too many passenger cars maybe. We'll have to see how we go for the rest of this run. I may well end up uh, dropping one of the carriages, especially when it comes to Harbour Town. Sorry, Harbour and Town. Leaving Harbour and Town, we know that there's a big grade, big incline as you head north on the western side of the map. Oh, sorry, on the eastern side of Harbour Town, as you head north, that's a massive grade, that one. Just gonna have a look here and just see where we're going to. Uh, Iron Ore Mine West. Okay, so it looks like there's a servicing bay there, coming from the northwest, which is where we'll be coming from. Immediately off to the left, looks like there's a servicing bay. So we'll just keep that in mind. Ooh, okay, yeah, those points are the way that we want them to be set. That that came up rather fast. Fire's looking okay. Boiler pressure okay. Let's get the water going water this thing really consumes its water when you're working it hard and we've had the throttle been using the throttle quite a bit just now so but it looks like we're over the hump folks back onto level ground maybe even a downhill if we're lucky it's a good feeling when we finally pick up some speed again and everything's running more or less smoothly just pumping some more water in there we'll just add some more throttle because it feels like we were slowing down a bit see how we go. Yeah, that looks like we got a 70 ahead of us. Still very much dark and it's about 4 a.m. according to the old watch. Uh, come on, we're slowing down again. Full damper. Got full throttle. Ah. Come on, come on, reverser, reverser, let's go, let's go! Ah. Alright, that's it, this is all she's got. You have to bear in mind we've got low boiler pressure, so we've got reduced output here. I think we're gonna stall. I think. Nope, no more troops. That's full throttle as well. Still sitting there at full throttle. Yeah, the cuckoo's laughing at us right now because we've just managed to stall it in the middle of the night. Ah, back into the coal bunker again. No two ways about it. This run is using coal and I'm very worried right now. I'm just going to go all out with the coal, I'm sorry. Economical, smeconomical. I'm gonna set fire to the whole coal bunker as far as I'm concerned. Come on, baby. Come on, baby, we can do this. Oh, she's gonna pull on the hill. She's gonna do it. We're gonna get sparks again. Yeah, we're getting sparks. Yep. Another hard pull for the old steam shunter. I'm sorry, but. I'm putting this loco through the ringer. It really knows how to get moving when it needs to. And that's exactly what we need. We need that power on the ground. Probably not something you want to do too often though. I want to find a nice happy medium, happy setting on this damper. Not just off and on. Just bring it a few notches up from minimum. 
I think having it fully, having the damper light in the minimal position is probably not the best idea in hindsight. Okay, let's back off the reverser and just go full throttle. We've got heaps of pressure. Come on, come on. Let's get this show on the road. I'm getting a little bit antsy now. Getting a little bit tired of all this faffing about and stalling on the hill and all that kind of stuff. Okay, looks like I've got level ground in front of us. Speed limit's 70, but it's dropping soon, so... We'll just keep our speed stabilised here. We're doing 20k now. For the rest of the run, I want to keep a nice consistent speed. You're probably thinking, yeah, you're telling us. <laughs> throttle on. I've got to try and reprogram myself. I'm still trying to do economical running, but that's not going to work, unfortunately. Keep the power on. Keep the power on. We got grades, man. Into another tunnel we go. And thankfully we're picking up speed. Working our way west still. Still got a fair distance before we can get to... Oh, okay, downhill now. Looks like we are well and truly over whatever that was for the past 10-15 uh, minutes. That was a pretty bad run out of uh, Food Factory, I must say. But, oh well, we've made it. It's 4.30ish, uh, coming up to almost 5am in the morning now. And rain's coming down. Yeah, we've got a fair distance to go still, so... And now we'll be onto the brakes, I think, for... For some distance, because I don't think there's any more hills in front of us. Uh, a bit heavy on the brake there. Let's just try and keep it around the 30-odd mark. Steam pressure is right where we want it for this kind of running. 60k an hour limit more or less straight section until we uh, come to a little bit of a curve slightly uh, further down the track here we'll be uh, curving off to the right hand side eventually a little bit harder this section here should be more or less uh, not too bad curve wise into the river. You would not want to fall out of the window and just go hurtling down, would you? Not a good idea. Or even uh, go hurtling down with the train, even better. <laughs> well, the pressure's dropping a bit, that's because we're pumping water. Stop the water already. Oh, I'm getting tired. I really should have had a sleep there at the food factory, maybe. Could have left, could have just slept for a few hours and then left in the morning. Maybe the weather would have been better, would have missed all of this weather. In any case, at least we're making progress. Our limit here. Just turn those wipers off so that they don't kill themselves on the glass there. It's a little bit dry. Six bar boiler pressure there. Just give it a touch of brakes around this curve. Looks like I've got another viaduct, otherwise known as a bridge, maybe. <laughs> a 
and then oh, even more viaducts after that. Any more tunnels? No, it doesn't look like it. I'm going to use this time just to meditate for a bit and think about all my life's decisions. <laughs> on through the rain here. The wind seems like it's picking up as well. Yeah, the fire is uh, running low I think. That's why the smoke's a little bit white. Let's uh, crank up the damper a little bit. Yep, okay, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I know. Alright, I know. But once again, I'm trying to save some coal here. It's the story of my life. Story of my life. I think we're on mostly level grounds here. I just went a few notches up from minimum. Oh uh, no, water's low, water's low. got a low boiler and low water. That's two of the things you don't want right now. We're at three bar, above, just above three bar on the boiler. That's not what you want. It's not what I want. I don't think it's what anyone wants. The valley is very beautiful at this uh, time of day. The sun's still not out yet. up some good speed though. Actually that could be why the water indication is a little bit low as well. It's just because we're going down a hill. Just trying to temper the speed. I don't want to kill off too much of the speed but I don't want to end up derailing either. These passenger cars can be a little bit problematic. I know from experience they can actually derail sometimes, even at quite reasonable speeds, so it's one reason just to keep everything in check speed-wise. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the boiler pressure there, folks. Uh, our firebox temp's actually quite high. We have been pumping quite a bit of water in. That could be it, but I haven't seen it that low before and not changing sure what's going on. Okay, we got more or less a straight section. We do have a few little ins and outs there, but we've got a rather straight run nonetheless. Just keep the speed around 30 or so. a bit of rain right now. Let's get on the wipers a little bit more. Oh, more than that. There we go. Want high speed wipers here. Still not too sure about this boiler pressure. Got the blower going now as well. Eh. No real change on the boiler there. Brakes are off. Uh, we're hoofing along alright. At least there's no hills, otherwise I would be screwed right now this amount of boiler pressure and I've gone anyway. Let's put a little bit more water in.
getting closer now to Iron Ore Mine West. Coming up to our rather straight section. Another tunnel. Once again, I'm really not sure how much coal we've got left because the graphical representation of the coal bunker is not quite right at the moment as you may have seen in my previous video, the uh, servicing video. Yeah, not sure what's going on with that boiler pressure. Uh, it's, I feel like it's just stuck in some sort of a little bind there, the boiler. At least we are in our downhill run. Could be because I'm constantly pumping more water in. Mm. Maybe that's got something to do with it. I'm sure it does. But then again, yeah, our fire is very low, so even that said, though, normally the boiler pressure just hang out. It does hang out a little bit higher than that. Even with a low fire. Anyway really picking up some speed now and you know what I'm just gonna let it go I'm gonna let this thing go I'm gonna let it go and see what happens if we derail we derail I'm just gonna let this thing go it's an 80k an hour limit let's just run this thing right off let's just run this thing right off the peg let's just peg the speedo for all I care right now No change on the boiler. Still being a sad sack. <laughs> yeah, you know what? We're coming up to a little bit of a, a hard right-ish. Hard-ish right. Not not that bad, but I'm sure the speed limit's going to be around the 50 mark, possibly. So yeah, we just put enough brake on to arrest the speed, the, the acceleration. Oh, still 70. Right. Once again, I'm attacking the old coal bunker. Sorry, coal bunker. We need to keep this fire going. Yeah, we're gonna peg it. Oh, we just went around that curve. The speedo more or less pegged. Oh, we've pegged it and we're rolling into the station. Oh, no! <laughs> ah, that came up way too fast. Holy moly, what a ride that was. Still barreling through the station here. Oh, I've got to get on the brake and the whistle. Look out, everybody. Look out! And just blow through the station. Oh, such an adrenaline rush after that run. Oh, what a fast finish that was. I must say, after leaving Food Factory and stalling like that, it is like, that's the complete opposite way to finish, is just barrel on through. Oh, okay. Alright, I'm sorry. I, need, I just need a moment here to compose myself a little bit. Oh. Uh, okay. Alright. Well. Let us turn off this incessant bell first. And, okay, 7am now in the game. So, what we'll do is... I think we're going to leave these cars here. Or maybe I'll, I'll take them to the end. Uh, I can see down there that the fire is... Yeah, now there's boiler pressure, of course. Yeah, right when we don't need it. Oh, did you see the oh, see the graphical change there on the uh, coal bunker? I think we really are running low on coal now. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to leave the cars here, I think, because I don't want to drag them all the way to the end of the uh, station. 
and uh, basically use all that steam trying to drag the cars around. I'm just going to leave them here. And what we'll do is we'll just head on to the end of the station whistle. And we'll give this thing its much needed coal and water resupply. And then we'll come back and pick up our cars and then we'll keep on going. Um, actually, I might see if I can get a little bit of sleep because I am tired. Let me just make sure this handbrake is on first. I know it's level ground here. I just let the locomotive run <laughs> while I run. Yeah, let's just head on down to the end of the station here. We'll back into the coal, uh, to the servicing point. You can see the water tower there on the right hand side. And I can also see the uh, so the water tower and coal coal shoot shoot. Go right down to the end, and then we'll back in. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, just set those points. The rest of the points look fine to me. Going to go straight into the servicing area there. And then we'll uh, try our hand at refilling the water once again. Get a little bit more practice on the old water nozzle with this uh, steam shunter. It's one way to learn something that's extremely difficult, isn't it? Try not to waste any time here. Just want to back up fast, get this uh, water and coal. Because I am tired and it's time for a little break. Oh, 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 too far I think. Yeah, just gonna come forward a little bit here. Get ready. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Just close up the old hatch. The roof hatch there, don't want the coal flying in. <laughs> ah, that's funny. I love it. Ah, look at that. We've uh, basically used up all of our coal coming from food factory. So that was a lucky run, that one. Good thing I wasn't running the fire like a madman because we may not have made it otherwise. And water-wise, water-wise, let's see how much water is left in our tank. Oh, let's get the old flashlight out first. Well, there's rain falling into the water tank. Is that going to fill up the water? Maybe I'll just leave it like this for a while and go and have a nap. We do need a break after that long run. <laughs> yeah, that water does look a little bit low though. Okay, let's do the old coal thing first. Uh, hmm, I think, yeah, okay, we've been pumping water this whole time. Uh, what a fool! No! Okay, that's fine. Ready. Add in the coal. Okay. That's our first time we've added coal. And look at that, look how empty it was. We're down to like 10% remaining. And uh, that is $772.44 for those of you uh, playing at home. But yes, that was the first load of coal that we've managed to get so far since we started from Iron Ore Mine East. So that's not bad to uh, survive on the, on the coal load all the way from one end of the map to the other. Uh, east, far east to the far west, basically. Uh, okay, my favorite part, trying to adjust the water tower. Try and get this water nozzle uh, lined up properly. I've got to get better at doing this, got to get faster because we're going to be doing this quite a lot. I think that's more or less okay. fire's gone out. Of course it has. Can't light a fire with a wallet, although it's possible, probably not the best idea. 
Let's get a five going in. Can you hear that? That sounds like thunder. Oh yeah, handbrake, that'll do it. Whoop, now we're gonna go flying. <laughs> and back onto it. Oh, <laughs> just locked up the wheels there for a split second. Figured that we should probably open this uh, hatch if we wanna fill the water up. Uh, let's have a look and see. Have a look and look and see. Yeah, see that? If I draw a line straight up, the nozzle is not aligned. So let's come in a little bit. And, uh, nope, wrong way. Uh, something like that. Maybe a little bit more still. Uh, okay, I think so. I think that's good. Oh, the thunder's really coming down now. I'm not scared of thunder. Believe me. <laughs> uh, fire keeps going out. Come on. Come on, come on. Gotta put water in this thing. I still gotta go and have a little bit of a sleep. If I can sleep off this weather, it'll be good. Come on. Give me ready. Give me ready. Oh, okay, hang on. No. Still, uh, I've got to move the nozzle. <laughs> I've got to move the locomotive back still. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> Did you hear that little uh, after that? It went boop and then uh, that's like passing through the uh, the perfect yeah see that's 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 misaligned man that's misaligned that's not gonna work okay let's uh, keep going forward a little bit now there we go quick 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 on the handbrake whenever you hear that beep like that quick get the fire going just using up our newly restored coal stores before we've even left the station Look at that water going. Oh, yeah, how much water do we... Oh, look, look at how much water we had. We hardly had any water. Oh, no. No, we hardly had any water as well. No. Okay, so it's $391.52 for those of you who wish to uh, know how much water that was. I think taking a shunter on a trip like this around the map is probably not the best idea because uh, it's really struggling to... Uh, Hold us at coal and water reserves between stations. We are really cutting it fine with this. This is going to be one. This is going to be one interesting adventure, I must say. I don't know if we're going to make it, to be honest. And yeah. Anyway, we'll keep on going. Actually, no, we won't. I'm going to turn everything off right now and apply the brake, handbrake, because I am going to have a little bit of a sleep in the game because we have been driving. We have been driving for an age. And I am tired. Let's just have a quick look at the hmm, lubricator. Oil levels are really looking okay. It really doesn't seem to use too much oil when you uh, run this thing. And uh, that's good. I'm just going to let the fire die out there. And we'll come back to this thing later after a few hours of kip. And yeah, so I think. Uh, what's, where's that light coming from? That's just the fire, I think, or what remains of the fire. So let's let's head on to the station office and uh, see if we can't find a comfy bed or sofa. Ooh, okay. Yeah, it's 9.30 in the morning. The time has passed a little bit since we've arrived here. Yeah, weather's really coming down. All right, I'm looking for a bed. Can you, uh, can we get a bed? Can we finish a bed? Hello, any bed? There's a toilet. Can't sleep on the toilet. Well, not easily. There's a stove with coffee. I don't want a stove with coffee. I just want to go to sleep. I've been driving for 20 hours in the game. Uh, okay, well, that's it, I guess. I guess we're going. Nope, toilet, still toilet hasn't transformed into a into a bed you know we might as well just get on out of here then I guess there's no point hanging around no napping we're just gonna have to go to the next station uh, machine factory in town so let's go just before we do that thought I'd give a summary as to where we've come from and where we are 
I know my east went all the way through past food factory in town all the way west and we are basically here right now I know my west okay and look at that we've been basically driving for 24 hours right now so next we'll be going south to machine factory in town and then we'll be going down further from there to uh, city southwest so we made it across the top of the entire map just, I must say, just, because we're running very low on coal and water in between these stations. So, who knows what's going to happen in the future. We might even uh, run out of water and the whole boiler may just explode. It may just be like, no, you know what, I'm not having any more of this. I'm not taking this journey anymore. The train, the locomotive might just give up. So, yeah, we'll see. Okay, dynamo's on. Uh, lubricator just checked that's on and the... Uh, uh, air pumps on let's uh, let's get out of here let's uh, well we can't forget the train of course because uh, we, we can't leave them passengers behind no. what fun would that be without passengers so just gonna go through these points and then back up folks and then uh, couple up to those passenger cars again just bear with me a moment Right, everyone, get on board, otherwise you're going to miss the train. Quick, 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 get some coal in there. Just keep that fire going. Come on. Oh, handbrake's off. Oh, I've got the violins of death back there. Yeah, the violins of death. You know what that means? The end of the world. Oh, the handbrake's still on. Just chasing after the train here. Don't mind me. What a surprise. Need more coal. Keeping the fire low, because I know that we don't have much of a hill coming out of here. Once again, I'm a little bit worried now, after having done that run across the top of the map, so far, it seems like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think we're kind of lucky in that we're mostly downhill run into City Southwest, and from there I plan on visiting all the way down the southwestern corner of the map, uh, Sawmill, so yeah, we've got level ground, so Let's just go ahead and keep things economical here. Saw a bit of a graphical glitch just now at the top of that tunnel coming in. Looks like that's still there from the early days. Uh, what's going on with our water? Uh, where's that flashlight? Oh, yep. Okay, water's good. and get a bit of speed up so there we are we're making our way down from iron ore mine west down to machine factory in town picking up a bit of speed now not going to run the wipers here because the glass is still quite wet I mean ah, never mind that's what happens when you're sleep deprived. Uh, yep, okay. A little bit worried now. I don't want to lose this. I don't want to lose this. I do want to bear to the left here. 
so those points are set correct. So add a little bit of water. Once again, the downhill is giving us a bit of a false reading there on the water side gauge. Yeah, I think we're going to have to drop a, a carriage soon. I don't know when, but we'll have to do it soon. At some point before the harbour and town incline, because yeah, uh, like I said before, I'm a little bit worried about how much coal and water this thing is just using up right now. Lost our boiler pressure. Just once, just once, I would like. Yeah, I'm not going to get anywhere with three bar. Let's just put the brakes on here. We've run out of steam pressure. We're going to need a moment to build the boiler back up, folks. Oh, there's those violins again. <laughs> no, nope. train's not happy. It's going backwards. No more forward motion anymore. Nope, I'm not going to have this. going the other way. That's what happens when you apply the train, uh, the locomotive brake or handbrake and you've got a heavy train behind you dragging you back down on wet rails. Right! This is how we do it. Yeah, I'm gonna move this thing come heck or high water. We are going forwards. 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 March, 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 march. That's right. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. But sparks flying from everywhere. We're going forwards. Just a quick disclaimer, I would never drive in career mode like this. And I really shouldn't be driving like this anyway. This is not showing respect for the machine. So from now on I've made a little bit of a pact with myself that I'm gonna try and keep a consistent fire and I'm not going to spin the wheels anymore, I'm not going to run out of water anymore okay, I'm not going to run out of coal I'm just going to take it easy and we're going to have a nice consistent run fingers crossed oh, okay maybe I can use this time to have a little nap because we have been running for a while now we're not even halfway into the journey yet. <laughs> oh, the reversal was on full the entire time. You really have to dig into the reverser there to uh, to get the power going, to get the torque down on this thing. It's only a baby steam shunter, it's not a mainline locomotive, but I stopped treating it like a mainline locomotive. So I'm trying to use my new regime here of just having a few clicks on the damper to maintain a good amount of uh, boiler pressure. The thing is, once you start injecting water, everything goes out the window. You have to um, you have to increase your damper when you're injecting water because your boiler pressure will come down otherwise. So 
and then everything else that's going on around you as well. Anyway, we've made it this far. Uh, we're dropping speed again. Let's add a little bit more coal here. We're going to need this fire, I think. This is an incline after all. You know what? I'm happy as long as we're not stalling and we're not doing two kilometers an hour. This could be a lot worse. Alright, I think that's machine factory and town. Water here. Once again, there is no there's no coal service at Machine Factory in town, and there's no coal service at City Southwest, which comes after that as well. So you can see there we're just approaching Machine Factory now. And there's a bit of an interesting layout here with Machine Factory in town. There's a parallel kind of siding setup. So I don't really think it matters which way you go, to the left or right, as long as you don't run into anything, obviously. Okay, you're just running through a machine factory in town now. gone, I've taken the other loop, I've taken like the left hand approach through Machine Factory in town, but I probably could have just gone straight through the main, the main line, I guess you could say, but the main line's over there, but eh, whatever. Just continue on straight, and then we should walk back onto the main line shortly. Level crossing. really an overgrown bunch of vegetation around here. So yep, yeah, there we go, just going through Machine Factory. We'll be out of here shortly, just turn off this bell. It does get annoying eventually. <laughs> right, oh, so it's mostly a straight run now. Uh, down to City Southwest and then eventually Sawmill. So we're going to be heading south, just south basically, this whole time until I say that we're not. <laughs> I've got the uh, water hatch open there and uh, yeah, currently running with that open. I don't know why, I just couldn't be bothered closing it. But anyway. hear the engine speeding up here we must be going down a grade now downhill section yeah this is our run from machine factory in town all the way down to city southwest it's actually not all the way but right now it's going to be a bit of a down downhill grade 1.5 1.6 or so so we're going to pick up speed real fast i just got to feed the fire even though we're not really using it right now some speed going. Yeah, it's a very high speed limit.
a downgrade now as we head on towards City Southwest. really low right now boiler pressure is a little bit low but that's fine let's add a little bit more coal as we start the next straight section towards city southwest after having gone through that junction speed up even more coming down here so just keep tabs on the speed it's a sunny day well just as I say that it's raining oh, straight on through to city southwest which should be there in just a moment so in the meantime just enjoy the scenery Okay, looks like we are here at City Southwest and there is no coaling station here. There is a water tower. I think we'll go ahead and just push on. I think we should have enough water to make it to Sawmill, which is further south from here. So, just go ahead and change that switch. 
just in the nick of time. I'm not going to pass through City Southwest. I figure I'll stop there and allow the quote-unquote passengers to get out, stretch the legs, or go home, as it were. <laughs> and allow a new set of passengers to join us if required. So I'll just go through these points here. Whistle. And then we'll back up and reverse the train into one of the sidings here. I might see if there is access to a water tower actually. If there is, I'm gonna try and just get a little bit of water while we wait. That might be something handy for us to have in the tanks, I think. <laughs> it's a shame we can't get any coal here. I don't know how much coal we do have left. I'm tempted to actually go... Uh, sun's kind of out at the moment. But what I'll do is... Just want to hop up top and have a look at what our coal levels are like. Let's just uh, make sure this fire and boiler is happy for the moment. Yeah, okay. Looks like we're down to about halfway again since filling up. Filling up at Iron Ore Mine West, that was. Just uh, <laughs> hopping along the. Uh, carriages here. Gonna head gonna go ahead and just change those set of points and we'll back up into City Southwest. There's our water tower actually, and I was thinking just go into one of these sidings here. I might just go into this one and see if we can't access this water tower at the same time. I've got a feeling the train might be too long though, because there's a uh, little DE2 in the engine shed there. So may not be able to reach the water tower with the locomotive, but yeah, I guess we'll just have to see how we go. Okay, so I couldn't quite make it into uh, fully into that siding to uh, get the locomotive on this other line to get water, which is a bit of a shame. So I'm just going to let the fire kind of die out there. And even though the weather actually isn't too bad and there's still quite a bit of sunlight, I've decided I'm going to go and get more sleep because we haven't had much sleep on this run so far. So we'll have a bit of a sleep at the uh, city southwest uh, just on the sofa here. And yeah, I think we'll get a, quite a few hours here and it's going to be more or less night time by the time we get up. Uh, I think we'll just go for the full eight hours. It's going to be just after midnight. It's going to be almost 1 a.m. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Okay, feel a little bit more rested now. Unfortunately, it is almost 1 a.m. in the morning. Uh, the next morning and weather has not held up unfortunately it's gotten a little bit more horrible so just a little bit of a uh, summary as to where we've come from uh, we've 
we're down here now at City Southwest. We started all the way up here in this video, Iron Mine East. Head across to uh, that loop food factory, as we uh, saw before. We struggled up these hills a little bit, made it to Iron Ore Mine West. Uh, we got our load of uh, water and coal there. Uh, we got uh, we went to Machine Factory and then basically down here at City Southwest. So we have been getting water pretty much along the way at every single stop, but I'm gonna probably not do that at this stop. Hmm, I've just noticed there the legends are missing. Okay, so from here we're gonna go down to Sawmill. Um, so we're here now. We'll just continue all the way down to Sawmill at the far southwest corner of the map, okay? Now there is, I believe, there is actually coal and uh, water there. And then we'll just head across the bottom of the map here through the night, uh, quite likely, maybe. Uh, probably going to be daytime by then, actually, across to harbour and town. And then finally we'll go back up to whence we came, okay? So it's definitely going to be, definitely still quite a bit of a trip to go here. So let's just head out into the rain and get back into our locomotive. Ah, really, it should probably have just gone back to sleep because I could definitely use the sleep even after eight hours there. But in the interest of getting this thing moving, we still have to make it to sawmill, so there's still quite a distance to go and I think if we make our move now while the sun is still down we'll make some good time so okay let's get everything started back up on the locomotive we'll go ahead and just get the compressor and the generator going and uh, we'll go ahead and turn that lubricator on like so very good okay I think we're pretty much good to go I'm not going to bother with filling the water, like I said. I'm confident that we have enough. Probably could have reversed it back, actually. Maybe. Could have always just moved that shunter. But anyway, just admiring the moonlight there. <laughs> okay, back inside. Stop messing about. Got a long road ahead of us still. Kakus are out in force again. So, okay, so this is where we are once again, City Southwest. We need to bear right and then head all the way down in a southwesterly direction down to Sawmill. And then, like I said, we'll be heading easterly after that to Harbour and Town. We might find that by the time we get to Sawmill down here the sun will be coming out so we'll be doing this southerly this eastern run most likely during the day okay and then probably during the night as we run back up to iron ore mine east so that section there um, out of harbour and town as we know well as you guys may know guys and girls is quite hilly so I don't know sorry I think I'll probably drop a carriage at Harbour and Town, I'm thinking, at this point. Because I don't fancy going up these grades in the wet with this thing. Considering we have to be conservative. It should just be a straight run out of here and I think the points are still set down at the junction to go to uh, the sawmill so I'm gonna keep it a little bit quiet now I've had a very restful sleep there and I'm still kind of just waking up so we'll just let everyone here just enjoy the ride we will be going up a bit of a grade once we go through the set of points coming up soon that will take us off to the right hand side but we've got heaps of boiler pressure here so we should be good and I'm confident we've got enough water still in our tanks so it should be a nice smooth ride to sawmill so unless something goes really wrong I'll uh, yeah I'll keep it quiet for, next, for this next section 
and I'll probably check back in with you guys uh, closer to the sawmill once we get to that location. So enjoy the trip, get some music pumping, and I'll check in with you all shortly.
Hello folks. Just checking in to say we are almost there at Sawmill. Um, yes, so uh, the time is now almost 4am uh, from the looks of it, according to our little pocket watch. So we should be at Sawmill shortly. And I must say the fire's been going okay. I've just been keeping the draft lever kind of in the middle ground there. And you've seen how I've been just putting conservative amounts of coal into the firebox. And I must say the boiler pressure is okay-ish. We're not exactly flying along. But I'm just been trying to keep the uh, damper about halfway there. We, ooh, we do need some water. Okay, let's, let's add some water. We do need water. Oh boy. Kind of let that slip. Uh, that's not good. Add water, add water. there this is basically it we are here I just want to make sure that we are going off into the correct direction ah uh, I think we need to be going to the right hand side there uh, no. I was gonna leave these uh, I, I wanted to leave these cars on this side actually oh hang on a second oh no we're out of water there's no more water in the tanks. Oh no! If we don't take action very shortly, we are going to blow up. Ah, the water tank is over that side! Oh, it's going to be a race against time here. Okay, I'm going to have to drop this fire, unfortunately. We could have an explosion otherwise. And then how we continue, I have no idea. We need to get over there. Yeah, we need to get over there and get water into this thing. It's a good thing we actually just made it. We just made it. Oh, I can't believe it. We are now operating as a fireless locomotive. Welcome. <laughs> I have to do everything here to save this steam pressure because uh, that compressor's running up front as well. It's a good thing it's kind of a downhill when we go backwards, so I'm just going to let gravity carry us back. I'm going to disconnect the cars and I'm going to see if we can't make it up to, through that turntable, past the turntable I should say, and over to that water tower. Uh, let's turn off this uh, dynamo. We need to save every bit of steam that we've got. I'm hoping there's enough residual steam pressure to carry us over there. We definitely can't drag the train back up the hill. I'm just using the handbrake. I don't want to use the air brake here. Just go through these points. And we need to go straight ahead. So I'll go ahead. I'll get out and change those points. Oh, I can't believe it. We got so close. Let me just apply this handbrake. Uh, hang on. I think the train's still moving, train's still moving. We're gonna need to put one more set of handbrakes on here. That's better. Okay. All right, the carriages are secure. 50% of the handbrakes are on. Oh no, quick, 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 turn off the... That's losing all our brake pressure. The air compressor, the air compressor's running. Uh, it's gonna use up our steam pressure as well. Uh, go. 
god. No. I should have turned off that air compressor. I only turned off the dynamo. Alright. Okay, we need a plan of attack here. Uh, we basically have very little water left in the boiler, so I'm not going to start... I'm not going to get any fire going until we manage to get more water into this thing. And looks like our turntable is set correctly. And we need to get over there, just over there to where that water tower is. So let's just hop back inside and see if we can't move this thing under its residual boiler pressure. Good news is at least the sun is coming up. And it's not the end of the world here. We are close enough that the water tower is basically just immediately in front of us, more or less. Let's uh, try and conserve this energy here. This is basically a fireless locomotive right now. We've got no fire and no water. We're basically just operating this locomotive with the residual pressure that we have right now. Hopefully we can make it to that water tank. I can hear what little steam there is left just making its way into the cylinders. That's amazing. Try doing this with a diesel. Yeah, picking up some speed now. We've got quite a bit of regulator on. We've still got three bar. Ah, uh, we don't need any of that. Let's just get a bit more coal. Uh, sorry, <laughs> a bit more coal. Yeah, we do need more coal. Need a, a little bit more throttle here. Oh, come on, come on. We still have to line this thing up with the water nozzle. Uh, we have literally almost zero pressure left in the boiler here. Come on, can we make it? Can we make it? This is absolutely crazy. There is... We still have to go past the turntable here. Just trying to preserve. Why is the diesel servicing station first? <laughs> oh, come on. Onto the turntable. We've got less than 3 bar of boiler pressure now. We're down to almost 1.5 bar. Come on, come on, you can make it. Alright, I need to be on... I have, need to get my game on point here with the water... water nozzle. Let's go ahead and just open... open these tanks. Uh, I knew I should... I should have filled up at City Southwest. See, this is what happens when you miss a water filling station. Oh, it's a shame to waste all that momentum. Oh, there wasn't that much, but... Okay, we need to do the needful. We need to go ahead and just set this up. Oh, we can't afford to just... We need to do this. If we run out of pressure, we are dead, basically. So we need to get this right the first time. We need to line this up the first time, otherwise we won't be able to get any water and we've got hardly any pressure left. Okay, come on, come on. Let's see if we can't get this thing moving again. Come on, come on, you can do it. You can do it. Need to come forward a little bit more. Ah, oh, so close, so close. Just some more minor adjustments here. Sun is well and truly up, but we've got ourselves another nightmare right now. I think this should do it. This should do it. Mm, 
No, we need, we need to go forward. What am I doing? We need to go forward. We need to go forward. And see, that, that alignment's off as well. What am I doing? Just bring that in a little bit. Uh, yeah, okay, that should be fine now. Just move forward so that the hatch is underneath the nozzle. And then this should be it. I promise this is it. This has to be it. Otherwise, there's no more pressure. Hard. Yes, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Oh, phew. Oh my god, what a relief. What a relief. Look, no water. There's no water in it. There is no water in this thing. We're gonna fill it right up. I wonder if running with the tank hatches open caused some of the water to uh, come out as well. Okay, so that's $405 worth of water to fill, fully fill the tanks there, just so that you know. And already I can hear the injector going now that there's water in the, in the tank. Oh, thank God for that. Well, we ran that really fine that time. I tell you, if we run out of that water, look how empty it is. There's still nothing on the gauge. And it's been filling up now for... And look at that, there's no coal either. But this thing was basically empty and we're just moving it around in the yard still. How versatile. <laughs> And how crazy of us, or me, to be actually doing this run like this. I can't believe it. We almost, almost, almost caused a problem. We got so close. We just made it. And I guess, I don't know, I'd like to think in part this is due to my economical running that I've managed to squeeze this range out of this locomotive. But I don't know. Like... Who knows, anyway. I think I'm still going to drop that last carriage when we get to Harbour in town. I don't want to have to go through this again. <laughs> and find myself running out of water halfway up. Back to our final destination. Man, there's still nothing showing on the sight glass. We've been pumping away now. Oh, there we go, finally. Oh, you don't know how good that is. That is such a great sight to see. <laughs> precious, precious water is what we need for these steam engines. Without it, there'll be a huge explosion. What I'm going to do is just see how much water that actually takes. Okay, so a boiler full is basically about a third of your tanks. Okay, so if we open... <laughs> That's cool. I'm just going to fill this thing right up to the top again. So there's an extra 128.75 worth of water for those of you who are calculating. Okay. Now, thankfully, we still got some coal in the firebox, even though we did drop the fire earlier. So that should hopefully give us enough oomph to basically roll forward here and fill up with coal. And then this load should take us easily to Harbour and Town from here. Okay, so we'll just roll forward here.
that's the sound that we want okay we'll just close up the roof hatch <laughs> and go ahead and load up with coal this is a lot more straightforward than the water at least yeah so look at that okay we did have a little bit of coal still not quite empty so last time we got coal was at iron ore mine west okay we made it all the way down from there and we had about a third left so that's not bad and the cost of this coal was $587.76 for those of you who are interested and that was at sawmill okay all right let's get out of here so let's reverse back couple up those cars and we'll get going let's just add a bit more coal here oh, the fire's gone out again ah, that's annoying okay anyway I'm gonna go ahead and just reverse now couple up and then we'll get on moving sun's out sunrise so let's make the most of this day and see if we can't get to harbour in town before the day is out I did check the lubricator as well and there's still heaps of oil in that thing so that's always good here's the nice downhill that helped us last night or this morning If it wasn't for this, we would have been in real trouble. Because our steam pressure was very low. Anyway, that's all said and done now, thank God. That's over. Nice minus 0.8% grade here. That helped us out. We'll just wake up. We'll give these folks a wake up call, shall we? Or maybe not. <laughs> it is nice and early in the morning. Ah, there we go, just. I love the sounds of the uh, the morning, the morning wildlife. That's the kind of sound you want to hear when you've got a full locomotive. And you just hooked up to your train. Uh, I feel like the fire's out. No, it's fine. Okay, let's let's get this thing moving. I need quite a bit of coal here. All right, that's working them up anyway. <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, why am I... A second. Before we go anywhere. That's better. Okay, so it is 8 o'clock in the morning according to our little pocket watch, so no better time than now to get moving already. Up the hill we go. hard. Nice and early in the morning. Oh, I forgot that set of points there is taking us off to the left because that's what we set earlier. That's what I set when I was first coming in here before. But anyway, I think that should be fine. It's just going to take us on a little... Uh, there's a little siding there, should be okay. We'll just keep going. Hey, there's a little shunter. 
Actually, that shunter probably could have helped us out last night if we did run out of steam pressure. But if we didn't have another vehicle, then we would have been pretty much out of luck, right? So always good to be self-sufficient. Not have to rely on other machines and machinery around the place. And happily, we did manage to uh, pull it off, even with basically no steam pressure. Nice early morning run through sawmill. So you can see there we're leaving the southwest uh, sawmill. Picking up a bit of speed now. We should have a fairly easy run. basically doing the eastern run of the map now and I'm hoping we can make it to Harbour and Town by nightfall. If we keep on pushing we should be fine. We should have enough fuel to take us there, enough supplies. keeping the speed under control here. Okay folks, it should be a fairly smooth run, so I'm gonna keep the old yak shut for a little while, unless something catastrophic happens. I know last time I said that something really bad did happen, so maybe maybe I'm making an omen for myself by actually not providing any commentary. <laughs> uh, how funny is that? So we'll be running across to Harbour and Town as shown, so making good time I think, we'll just keep on going. I can't really see what else, what other issues could go wrong. This thing's being topped up, full coal and full water. Check in with you soon. And in true form, we seem to have an issue with our boiler pressure once again, ladies and gentlemen. So please excuse me whilst we, uh, whilst I deal with these technical difficulties. <laughs> Feels like a great day outside. It sounds like one. There's no rain. 
sounds like it's quite a warm day out there. Actually, I just realised as well that I forgot to turn on my dynamo. I've uh, overfilled the boiler here. Stupidly. Okay, back to it. I'll shut the old yap for about 15 minutes now as we uh, continue on our way. So feel free to just chillax and enjoy the sights and sounds and yep, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll talk again soon.
Hello, folks. Okay, we are getting ever closer to Harbour Town. Harbour and Town. We're not that far away now. And I've been keeping the fire mostly under control, as you've uh, as you've been seeing. I think for the most part, just been playing with the dam for a little bit and trying to keep the fire low as much as possible. Just running conservatively. Always remember to put that back into running. some good time here. Got some nice grey smoke that's been happening lately as well as you've probably seen. It's getting a little bit later in the day now but we should be on track to make Harbour and Town before too long. It won't be too late once we roll in. down a little bit. has been off this whole time still. I guess I haven't really found the need for it because it's basically daytime anyway. But once we hit Harbour and Town I will turn that generator back on. I forgot to turn it on earlier. Just got a few little uh, switchbacks to go through. So we'll have to keep the speed in check around here.
just gone 1.30 in game. Coming up to 2 o'clock soon. And we're making good progress, inching ever closer to Harbour and Town as the minutes go by. Take a quick look at the map there. Soon we'll be on the outskirts of Harbour and Town, and at that point, I'll do one more set of refueling and we'll decide what to do with that last carriage on the back of the train. Pressures at a healthy nine bar there. The headlight switch is not doing anything because the dynamo is not turned on anyway. A few times during this trip just now, I was thinking about stopping the locomotive and turning on the dynamo or hopping outside and doing it while hopping up top and doing it whilst it was still moving but it's a little bit risky with all these curves and turns that we've been having it's been mostly downhill as we've seen as well so kind of hard to judge sometimes got a few tricky little corners and curves coming up ahead as well Shame that the weather's set in once again. Sunny, birds singing, it's all gone once more. And we don't have our dynamo running, so can't turn on the wipers for right now. But the rain's not too heavy just yet. But it is starting to build up a little bit on the glass there. Basically, it'd be, it's going to be a downhill run, more or less, the whole way into Harbour and Town.
of the rain, it seems to be increasing in intensity then. Almost there, almost there at Harbour Town. Just got that last little junction coming up. Make sure that we bear to the right. And once we're through that, again, it's just a downhill run pretty much into Harbour and Town. So we'll make the decision there about these carriages. Grey smoke. Seems like this weather might be uh, setting in. I haven't looked at the forecast actually, but it's very possible that we might have rain into this evening as well. And if that's the case, it's going to be an interesting run once we leave Harbour and Town. Unless we stay the night there and leave in the morning. Whistle! concentrating there on the uh, on the way forward keep doing that sometimes it's just just forget about the water it's just hissing away in the background and you forget that it's actually pumping water in but I think I don't think it was uh, too badly of a field there uh, what a waste what a waste just see the top of the water there, there. Okay, well good, let's not waste any more.
can see Harbour and Town there in the distance. We have made it to Harbour and Town, would you believe it? We've almost gone all the way around the map. We just have one leg to do after this, and then we are basically done. that last junction before we head into harbour and town. Ooh, fire's running a little bit low there. Just get onto the coal once again. The more I think about it, the more I'm thinking I'm just going to go hell for leather and straight up to Iron Mine, uh, Iron Ore Mine East from where we started this entire journey. I'm just going to go there as soon as possible once we uh, refuel at Harbour and Town. I'm not going to wait for the daybreak. Just do the run in the night if need be. And that will finish off this awesome adventure. <laughs> It's certainly been a long adventure so far and if you've watched till this point I certainly applaud you and thank you very much I hope uh, it's been interesting for you and as always encourage you to leave comments below telling me what you thought about the entire thing I know I'm no expert fireman here. I've made quite a lot of mistakes along the way. But it could have been a lot worse. We could have ended up an exploded hulk on the side of the tracks. We didn't end up doing that, thankfully. Although I shouldn't really speak too soon because we're not quite out of the woods just yet. This is our second last stop in our run. everyone know that we're here <laughs> all right we've made it to harbour and town wow okay we made it this far I can't believe it it's, uh, what I'm gonna do shortly is you know what I'm just gonna go straight into the servicing siding with the train behind us make sure we get the comms radio out shortly and set those points that will be ahead of us we need to uh, set these to the right there we go and just be careful because at the end of uh, well there's a time a timetable a turntable that comes up here if you're not careful just beyond that uh, coal tower Get the old bell pressed into action. <laughs> Don't worry, it's going to be for one of the last times in this video. Just get ready on the brake there. Want to bleed off a little bit of speed. It's always better to add a little bit of speed if you need it, than try and take off too much. That's enough with the bell, I think. Okay, so this is the last time, folks, that I'm going to have to manipulate this water tower. And, uh... Okay, let's take care of the uh, coal anyway. We'll do that first and then we'll uh, try out the uh, water tower for the last time.
Okay, so we've still got a little bit of coal left, about a third I'd say, just judging by the depth of the walls there in the uh, coal, coal bunker. I'm not going to bother closing the roof this time. Oh, I think I can see the coal actually falling inside. <laughs> Oops. A little bit extra. Okay, so that's $440.96 worth of coal at Harbour and Town, just for those interested. Ah, and let's do this water tower for the last time in this video. See how much, uh, how much better I'm getting at this. Better than I don't have any headlights flashing in my face this time around. I should bring the locomotive forward a little bit. Looks like the fire's gone out. inch forward here make sure we open our water hatch and you can already see there slightly off so need to just bring it around a little bit no no not that way go the other way and something like that I think no no that's too far out to be more or less like that. Yep, keep coming forward, keep coming forward. That alignment there looks fine. We draw a line from about, yeah, okay. We'll give it a go. Yeah! Got it! That was fairly painless. I think I finally got it down pat. And you can see there, ooh, the water's down to quite low there. We did waste a little bit of water coming in here. That's three hundred and thirty-seven dollars and twelve cents worth of water there at Harbour and Town that we just put in. So yes, that is basically the amount of consumables that you need to run this entire map with this steam shunter, with basically uh, four carriages on the back. And oh, okay, it's coming up to six p.m. So. At this point, we can decide either to stay the night here, if we can, if there's a bed. I'm not too sure if there is, or a sofa. Or we just press on. And I'm thinking we might just press on, to be honest. Because I just want to get this thing done. Just get the fire going again in this locomotive. Back right out of here. Actually, before we do that, what I'm going to do is just hop outside because I'm going to need this generator or dynamo running for the night time. Need our lights. And also, I'm just going to go ahead and show the lubricator. I haven't touched the oil level in this. And look at the lubricator. It's still about three quarters full. And that's definitely still on. Okay, so look at that. Still quite a bit of oil. We've gone around almost the entire map and it's still about three quarters full of oil so not not bad not bad at all these things are okay on uh oil after all okay finally we can get out of here so we just need to back right out again past the points i'll flip the points over and we'll just proceed straight ahead again uh, in an easterly direction out of harbour and town and then I think the sun's pretty much gonna start going down as we leave here but that's fine the weather seems to have cleared for the moment but if the weather gets bad oh well we'll just have to uh, deal with it I guess won't we looks like blue skies for the moment though we'll just have to see Alright, 
folks. I think that's the last set of points that we have to throw on this journey, if I'm not wrong. I'm going to go ahead and drop the last car, unfortunately, off the end of this train because, yeah, the rain's starting again and we've got quite an incline ahead of us to get up to Iron Ore Mine East. And just to play it safe with our supplies, I think I'm going to take this train forward and then drop off that last car further up. I think here's about a good place to do it. I know it's on the main line, but at this point, I really just want to get this thing done. And, because uh, we've got a bit of a leg in front of us to do. There's a happy wiper that's just wearing away there. We'll move all the passengers into the first three cars. <laughs> Oh, what an adventure. I must say I am feeling tired even like with all the in-game sleep I've had. This is still quite a journey indeed to go around the entire map like this in Derail Valley. So back to the cab we go. Okay, so this is where we are at the moment. We are down here at Harbour and Town. We're going to work our way north, okay, all the way back up to Iron Mine East from where we basically started the video. So, very treacherous uh, run as we head north. It looks like it was uh, 8.30 there. So, it's already quite late in the evening. And really, I could have just spent the night here, but eh. Let's just keep on going. We've come this far. Might as well just keep going. And we'll let the weather be what the weather's gonna be. Rain or hail ain't gonna stop us now. But in saying that, I'm just gonna close up the hatch because I'm getting a little bit wet. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna a little I'm gonna be a little bit reckless here for this run, this last leg. I know we've got full supplies, we've got full coal and full fuel, uh, full water I should say. So I'm going to keep the uh, the damper pretty much fully open here, almost, because I know that we have quite a incline ahead of us and we need to keep this ship moving. This train got to keep going. So we've got a full complement of boiler pressure right now, no more messing about. Once we get out of Harbour and Town here, it's going to be uphill for much of the way, so got to make sure that we got this boiler primed and ready to go. You can hear the uh, excess steam pressure being blown off there, so we definitely got heaps. Uh, let's just, I just want to get this little lantern going. So going easy around this curve, but as soon as we uh, let's just turn this up a little bit, as soon as we're on the straight here, I'm just going to go full throttle pretty much. So here we go. Yeah, we have full throttle. Let's go. Let's go. We can bring this thing home. Fell off. pushing it now. Just inch back a little bit on the reverser there. Might have to add some more coal. Because it's going to chew through this coal when you run fast like this. Oh, I can hear the, the locomotive slowing down already as we go up this huge hill. Oh, we're gunning it up this hill right now. Can we make it? Can we make it? Up the hill we go in the rain. Full throttle. Got the throttle pegged. She's got oh, more captain. This is all she's got to give. I 
must say we're making some really good progress here and the pressure is more or less not really affected so I probably didn't even need to drop that last wagon I'm thinking now but I don't want to speak too soon because we just don't know how it's going to turn out especially from a supplies perspective we can't fill up any more coal or water now we're basically on our last leg we have to take this last leg north all the way to iron ore mine east and we have to make sure we've got enough coal and water for the remainder of this journey now got the wipers on hard but uh, I'm not going to bother turning them off right now I know the tunnel's going to end shortly I'm just too focused on getting this thing home right now and our home is all the way up here as we can see to the very top right hand corner of the map oh it's slowing down fast back onto the throttle let's get get more coal get more coal no not the wallet shovel will do that I'm kind of caught in between at the moment. Um, I've got two mines here and we've got more of an incline ahead of us. Let's just slow these wipers down a little bit. One part of me is saying just go ahead, hell for leather, and the other part of me is saying uh, let's be a bit more conservative. The rain is really coming down right now though. It's pouring down. This is probably the worst weather we've had on the whole trip. And we're going up hills as well, so... Yeah, more inclines to go as well. All the pressure is dropping a little bit, so we need to keep tabs on that. We are pumping water at the same time though, so uh, speed limits are dropping. Ish. Doing our best here to go through the driving rain. It's really coming down folks. Got the lights on high beam here and the poor locomotive is slowing down as we go up this hill. Not exactly burning a clean fire right now as well. Got quite black smoke up front, which is not great. Not an efficient fire. We're looking for more of a grey smoke. Just open the damper a bit more, see if we can't lean out this fire a bit and get it burning a little bit more cleanly. Oh, the good news is we're picking up speed once again. I'll just go uh, full speed on the wiper once again. So I could be shoveling coal like a madman like right now, but I'm choosing not to do that because I think we've got enough coal in the belly of this beast right now, and I don't want to waste any. We're leveling out, that's good, that's good, okay. Coal level's dropping a little bit. Well, the pressure's holding just above 9 bar there. And we're making progress, we're making progress. Uh, we're not, we're about, mm, what, almost a third of the way to our final destination now. On this leg, I mean. But overall, we're very close. Very close indeed. Let's add a little bit more coal. Got 
got some good speed right now. Got a nice, mostly straight section ahead of us. Got some nice open curves, not too bad. Nothing too bad. This rain is really coming down though. Probably could have overnighted in Harbour and Town, I'm thinking, if there's a bed there. I'm not too sure, I didn't check. I think there is. Could have done this run in the morning. Oops, got a little bit too much water there now. Let's just open these cylinder drains there. All the pressure suffered as a result of too much water being pumped in. But we're on mostly level ground here, so we should be fine. k now limit nice open curve still we're gonna bring this thing home we're gonna bring this thing home and I can just see the top of the water just just coming down a little bit Making more progress. The reversal was a little bit... Uh, nah, I don't know. I find that you really have to dig into the reversal to get this thing moving sometimes, so... Having it too far back sometimes doesn't give you enough torque. But right now we're just coasting. I'll look to do a bit of a summary at the end of this video, hopefully, if I get a chance to. There's just a lot going on right now. I must say, it definitely hasn't been a perfect run by any stretch of the imagination. We stalled a number of times, we went backwards, we ran out of steam pressure, we ran out of water pretty much. But, I will say that we didn't let the worst case scenario occur, and we didn't... Well, not yet anyway. Again, I'm kind of speaking too soon, but so far we haven't blown the locomotive to smithereens, so... I guess we haven't done too badly in that respect. And if we make it to the end, we would have gone around the entire map, so... Anyway, I don't want to jinx it, I'm not going to speak too soon, because it's not over yet. still got some rather menacing grades ahead of us. Don't think that this is the end. Once we get towards Goods Factory, we'll be passing over that bridge. There's going to be some really wild hills after that. Just playing it a little bit safe for the moment. being a little bit more uh, liberal with the uh, damper as you can see there right now because I know the hills are not quite over yet so we need to save our steam pressure and add to it if we can because we're under 9 bar at the moment
I'm excited, as you can tell. I'm uh, actually quite quite keen to see the end of this run, I must say, because it's been a lot of driving. And really, I couldn't give two hoots about the wipers right now. I just want to keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. the darkness. Okay, I need a bit more coal. Into the coal stores we go. Raid the stores once again. Yeah. Fill it up. Now we need to lean on the boiler. Look at that darkness behind us. There's just rain and darkness. Coming up to Goods Factory and Town, we won't be, obviously can't stop there because we'll be passing over it, it's an elevated track the way we're going, but as soon as we pass that section, Goods Factory, then we're going to have quite an incline as I just mentioned before, so that's going to be in the region of 2% initially and then it'll drop down a little bit, but it's still going to be quite high, it's still going to be almost 2% and then It'll be just over 1% and then it'll be 2% again as we get closer to our destination. So there's going to be no let up of inclines as we get closer to Iron Ore Mine East, our final destination. Pressure's holding at 9 bar. I think it might be an idea to get it up higher. Yep, more grades. More grades. Let's get the damper open. Oh no, no, don't dump the fire! Oh god. I'm doing the opposite of what I want to do right now. We're slowing right down, slowing right down, come on, come on, come on. This thing really bleeds speed, I tell you, on the inclines. Does not have that much momentum. It could be because it's a relatively lighter locomotive compared to the big brother steam locomotive. So you really got to listen for those truths and uh, listen for the rhythm of the engine. If you feel it slowing down, if you hear it slowing down, Make sure you get on that regulator. Once again, just trying to balance coal uh, economy with power here, so... Yep, looks like more of an incline coming up. But I knew that. I've done this uh, trip more than a few times lately. Yep, uh, getting closer to Goods Factory now. We should start seeing those lights in the distance. Be passing over it shortly. Our 
fire still looks like it's kind of black there. Yep, yep, I can see the red lights of Goods Factory there in the distance. So we pass here with this bridge and then it'll veer off to the right. Not too sharply, but it's going to be a pronounced right hand curve. Even so, I've got the throttle about halfway. I just want to make sure we keep the speed up, but not too much. And then once we get onto the straight section, I'm going to have to just open this regulator right up. Yeah, that's a 1.8, is it? 1.6? Look at that. That's a good factory right there. And there's our incline. Feel it starting to slow down already. Add a bit more throttle there, and here comes the actual grade. Here, the the track just takes this upwards tilt right now. We just crossed over it. It's a bit of a challenge because there's still curves as well. So. Yeah, she's slowing down. She is slowing down. Slowing down, and we've, our boiler pressure is very healthy right now. So we've done well to build it up. So we've got a nice reserve of steam right now. Okay, so we're on pretty much the last section. There's a junction up ahead, we'll bear right, and I think there's another junction or two, and then we'll basically be there, so hooray for us. you we really need the steam pressure that we've got right now if we were below 9 bar we'd be pretty much in trouble yeah, and our water levels really suffering so we're gonna take a bite out of our steam pressure right now because we do need to fill the boiler a little bit I probably should have kept the injector slightly cracked Oh well, you can see there that uh, let's make sure the damp is fully open. Ooh, could use some more coal there. Let's get this fire burning. I'm just going to close the injector for now. I think that's enough water. I'm not going to go overboard with the water level. I've got to save our steam pressure because we need it. We need our steam right now. That said, it looks like we are speeding up a bit, so... I think we're flattening out a little bit onto the level. So many little micro adjustments sometimes. The train's still slowing down when I let off the throttle, so... Let's ask a little bit more from this boiler. Yep, okay, so we've got a little bit of a junction there. Just have to make sure that we bear off to the right. Yep, we're bearing right. If we went left, that's actually the way that we uh, began our journey. 
So how about that? We've gone around the entire map more or less now. But once we get to this last stop... Oh, what's that? What's that? I think that's a hill. That's a hill. Yes, that's a hill. I missed the gradient on that one, but... I saw from the colour scheme that that's definitely an incline. I should have had the damper just fully open this these past few minutes. I don't know why I just closed it down just now. It was just a few notches from the top. I should have just had it fully open. Anyway, the damper's fully open now, so... That's enough water. Let the steam pressure build. That's why I'm e going easy on the throttle right now. Yep. More of an incline. Here we go. Here we go. I hope we don't stall. Our steam pressure could be a bit better than it is, but it's not too bad. It's at 9 bar. Come on, come on, you can do it. Ah, she's holding. Steam pressure is holding as well, if not increasing a little bit. reserves a bit. We are almost there. Really, I should just load the firebox with coal right now because we're pretty much there. But, again, interests of economical running, I guess that's just ingrained into me, isn't it? Sometimes at a detriment because sometimes I run on slightly a too lean side and end up with not enough pressure. See that smoke looks like it's grayed out a little bit, which is good. Alright, we're picking up speed now. Let's get off the throttle a bit, let the uh, boiler pressure improve. Yep, okay, coming up to... We're almost... This is pretty much the home straight now, this last bit. have a quick glance at the time here. It looks like it's, uh, yeah, 2 a.m. from the looks. So we are going to beat the sun, I think, once we arrive at our final destination of Iron Ore Mine East, from where we started this huge adventure. I can smell it. I can smell the ending. <laughs> close now that's for sure extremely close I bring this thing home bring it home bring it home just need to go through this set of points here off to the left because we don't want to go right here and I think it's more of an incline over to the left actually I think yes it is yeah, that's a 1.6% to the left and a 1% to the right. Okay, and it looks like we are coming into a bit of a downhill section here. And, 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 yep, I can see, I can see where we need to be. There's the lights of Iron Ore Mine East. I think this is a bit of a pause for a celebration. Just past 2 a.m. now. Almost quarter past two. What I might do is have a bit of a nap when we get there and then that way we'll uh, end the video with a little bit of sunshine and hopefully this rain will be gone by then as well. What a run indeed though. All we need to do is just get get into the into the station now. Which is 
not far, not far. One set of points, we need to go to the right. Make sure we go right, because if we go left, we're starting the whole thing again. <laughs> Could you imagine that? That would be quite some journey as well. In saying that, we could do that at one point and uh, visit some areas, uh, some other areas of the map because we didn't visit the internal, the inner sections of the map on this run. We just went around the outside, as I've said before. Those points are set exactly how we left them when we started our journey. We were coming back this way. So, we have arrived everybody, passengers are now coming back to Iron Ore Mine East. What a run it's been. It'll be interesting to see what the oil levels are like once we do reach the end as well. I've got the feeling they're still going to be at least halfway on the lubricator. set because I was doing some shunting here earlier. Uh, hang on a sec, these points are all skew with That one we're gonna go into... yep yeah, that's good. Oh no, I just realized that one ahead of us was set to the uh, left hand side. Ah, uh, okay. This is what happens when you do shunting jobs before starting the video. I'm gonna have to back up and come back through these uh, points folks, sorry about that. We'll rejoin shortly, I'm not going to put you all through this again. Just going to reverse and go back through the correct direction, so one moment. Come on old girl, we can do it. Okay, we're on the right track now, quite differently. So, just a uh, bit of a loop around and then we'll park basically from where the video has started and then I'll have a quick bit of sleep in the game and yeah, we'll wrap this thing up. Finally! Can't believe it. We actually made it. We made it around the entire map in a steam shunter with only a little coal bunker behind it and these water tanks that just don't seem to have much capacity at all. So, I don't know what to tell you. We made it. We actually made it. I think that's something to be a little bit proud of that, uh, at least for this engine, it can go around the entire map like this. And I know we did have to drop one set of carriages there, or one carriage, but I think it's nothing to be sneezed at. We're actually right back where we began. So, hooray for us!
this is the last loop, last curve that we're going to go around. I'm going to hit the brakes when we get to the servicing station, just right up ahead of us, almost only uh, a few feet away now. Oh, a little bit further than that, but anyway, it's late, man, or very early, depending on how you look at it. Uh, that's been one heck of a journey. Under we go, under the coal station, and then there's the water tower ahead of us, which is where I did the uh, recent video on how to service this thing. Feels like home in a way. Maybe I should have started at a different station, but oh well. I started from here, so I ended from here. And we put the brakes on for the very last time. It'd be funny if the water tower was all still lined up. Actually, hmm, I don't know. Is it? We'll have a look, maybe. <sighs> sigh. What a big sigh of relief. Just need a moment here. Need a moment to take this in. We made it. We made it. And if you've been watching this far, thank you so much. I love you. <laughs> Ah, please leave a comment if you like. If you enjoyed this, I'm really glad. If you didn't, I'm really sorry. <laughs> ah, what an adventure. What an adventure. The old steam shunter. The old shunter. Okay. Uh, before I completely lose my mind, I think... I'm just going to go ahead and we'll keep the fire going for the moment because I am going to hop out and just do a few little checks. Well, we've still got quite a bit of coal left from Harbour Town, Harbour and Town. And if we get the old flashlight out and have a bit of a look see. We'll see that our water levels aren't too bad as well. What's that? That's about a quarter full still, more or less, I think. Probably slightly less than that even, but we still got water in the tanks. And I think I will reiterate that we probably could have kept that last wagon on this train. We didn't have to leave that behind, so oh, that was a bit of a shame. But hey, we made it back with the majority of the train at least. I don't know if I'm going to do another run like this, because this really took it out of me. It's 4am in the morning, just after 4 I think, so yeah, I'm, I'm baked, I'm done. <laughs> I'm baked from this fire. <laughs> ah, we made it, the whole map, we made it, we made it, can't believe it. Alright, uh, for those of you wondering how much fuel uh, we spent, so... Uh, when it comes to, for example, oil, uh, oh, actually, oil, let's, um, I'll check out the lubricator in just a sec, but when it comes to coal and water usage, let's just have a look at that lubricator first, actually. Look at that. Steel, just over halfway full, or, yeah, probably about halfway full on the oil lubricator. So, I've just proven that you can go around the entire map with this thing. Um, with a reasonable load, I mean, it wasn't an exceedingly heavy load, I realize. And we are down to 100 ton when we left Harbour and Town. We started off at about 130 ton, and then we dropped back to 100 ton, leaving uh, Harbour and Town towards the end on that last leg. But even so, uh, the oil levels are more than enough to last a good portion of the map, at least, if not the whole map. I mean, I went around the whole map, and it's only half, half empty, so... Anyway, I'm going to put the coal and water numbers on the screen right now, just for those of you who are interested, uh, how much coal and water that took. Um, it doesn't really mean too much, it's more of a guide, I guess, more than anything. But I think I'm going to go and have a bit of a sleep, and we are going to come back in the morning and just have another little bit of a look around, and just do a bit of a summary. Ah, look, a sofa. We can actually go to sleep. How great. 
Ah, it's a new day in the valley, and we are back here at Iron Ore Mine East. Oh, look, there's a bed. We could have slept in a bed. Oh, well, <laughs> after all that, after that huge journey around the map, I went and slept on the sofa. Oh, well, that's what you get, isn't it? That's what you really get. <laughs> hey, I'll take sleep on the sofa over anything else, really. I mean, not sleep in a bed, but anyway. Okay, so just to summarize, how did we go on that? Well, how did I go? I wasn't really too happy with my firing in the beginning. I did have the damper pretty much at minimum because I was trying to run economically whilst I figured out how the uh, consumption of the locomotive was. In hindsight, I think running with the damper at the minimum setting, not close, but minimum, is probably not the best idea because you just don't build up enough of a fire and you end up probably using more coal trying to warm up the fire all the time. So my recommendation would probably be just to keep the damper a few clicks open or uh, towards the open position even when you want to just keep a low fire because that way your fire will be hopefully more responsive when you go to open it further and you should maintain a bit more boiler pressure as well when you keep the damper slightly more open. Remember you are aiming for a grey smoke coming out of that chimney as well so but like I said I was trying to be conservative here and hopefully that didn't hurt my chances but at the end of the day, we did skip refilling the water at City Southwest. So if we didn't skip doing that, we wouldn't have run out of water at the sawmill. And I probably could have had the damper open quite aggressively the entire way with the three or four wagons we have behind us. And we would have been just fine. But hey, we don't know that in uh, in the beginning. Hindsight is 2020, as they say. So, but all that said, I think you'd agree uh, towards the end, or probably after about halfway through the run, when I started to get more of a feel for what the consumption was like on the locomotive, I was running with the damper a little bit more aggressive. Um, hopefully, you'll agree. At least in the last leg from Harbour and Town, uh, was quite aggressive on the damper there, trying to keep the pressure up for the uh, inclines and. Yes, it's one of those things where I was just trying to be economical to see how far I could get first because I didn't want to shovel coal like a madman in the beginning and uh, then find that, you know, we run out of coal and water and all that kind of stuff. So I was just trying to be very careful in the beginning and unfortunately that did result in some stalling but I think overall we made it, so that's the important thing. And I don't profess to be an uh, expert in firing. I mean, I've been driving these locomotives for a little bit. I have driven one in real life as well, just briefly, but there's always a learning process for this and a big portion of learning to fire a locomotive is dependent on knowing the terrain and the kind of uh, hills and gradients and downgrades that you drive on, okay? So all that stuff takes time to learn. Would I do it differently if I had my time again? Probably. I'd probably run a little bit more aggressively on the damper and try and just aim for that grey smoke more often, but anyway. This is very much as much of a learning process as it is for me, as for everyone else, I guess. Thank you so much for watching. Um, like I said, please leave a comment below. <laughs> really, really interested in hearing your thoughts. And it's basically, I did record this footage in one entire sitting, but then it took basically a week to edit this video with everything else that's going on. I definitely enjoyed it, and I must say it was one huge adventure. So definitely glad I did it. <laughs> yes. We do this for the entertainment, don't we? So if uh, if you guys and girls have had a great time, that's what I love to hear. So thanks for watching. I'm going to go lie down, I think. <laughs>